I am in the duck pond here and we did well for about a week and then we got pea soup. So with the nutrient load from the ducks, we had this bloom into full algae in about a week of them being in here. So it's time to get the biofilter set up and the duck waponics bed going. Um, you can see it's only a couple inches deep right here and you can't even see into the water. It's just gross and green and not good. So we're gonna work on getting the filter set up here and going and see if we can get this cleaned up to be a manageable duck pond. Okay, we got most of our grow media in here, the lava rock. Um, chose the lava rock because it's lightweight, it's porous, so it has lots of spots for bacteria and air get to the roots of our plants we're gonna grow here. Um, we're filling it up, so we're pumping water through the solids filter. It's dumping into here. I pulled the bell siphon out. What we're gonna do is fill this up to the top and then move our grow media around so that the rock is about one inch higher than the level of our water. And what that will do is keep the sun from hitting the top of the water and keep it from growing algae in here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Our pond's over there. It pumps up through this black hose. It comes into our filter here comes through this elbow, 90 degrees, and this kind of creates a swirl effect where it causes this water to go around in a swirling motion. What that does is it allows the solids to move to the outside from centrifugal force and fall to the bottom. And only the cleanest water goes out through the drain and down into the grow bed. And then on the bottom of our solids filter, there's a bulkhead fitting down there with a valve. This comes out and what we can do is put our bucket here and drain out the solids out of the bottom of our container. And that gets all the heavies and solids and big particles uh, out of the swirl filter. And then only the best stuff goes back into the system. Uh, so far we just threw a couple things in here that were seeding out from the house uh, hydroponic system. So these are some lettuces that are seeding out. Um, some stuff has seeded already. And you can see we've got the seeds germinating in here and starting to grow. So hopefully between these and these other lettuces going to seed, uh, we will get a lot more stuff growing in this bed and it'll help pull that nitrogen load out uh, from what is growing the algae in the pond. And then from this bed, it goes down the drain here. Like I said, we have a cover over this that creates a siphon for ebb and flow. And then it goes back through the PVC down and back into the pond. Okay, so we are a weekend now and the pond did clear up. It cleared up pretty well and then kind of bloomed again. So we're waiting to see what it's kind of going to do, how it's going to cycle. Um, but it's not turning the birds green. It's not getting a thick algae film on top anymore. It's just kind of a green color. So the algae seems to be a little better. Like I said, it kind of turned more back to a brown, but then it bloomed again. So I don't, we're gonna just kind of wait and see how it cycles. The IBC tank filter set up here still seems to be doing okay. We're gonna try to add some more plants. So that's a uh, cattail. Like I said, the lettuces that are, were bolting inside the house. Uh, 
hydroponic system are out here. You can see the other stuff's seeded well. Uh, I got a little water iris back here. So hopefully as this stuff starts to take over, I'm gonna hopefully get some more plants in here and it will pull that nitrogen out of the water. So more to come, we will see how it does. So thank you guys for watching. Um, Stay tuned for updates on this. This is something that I really hope works because I would like to keep this duck pond as maintenance free as possible. And if we get some food out of the deal, then even better. But anyways, we'll keep you guys updated on how this works. And thank you again for watching. Like and subscribe if you don't wanna miss what's coming next. Until next time, keep on growing and have a great week.